This week, 272 new stalls were installed throughout the United States and Canada, bringing the total stall count to 57,144, or 31.74% of the 180,000 needed, according to the 2023 study by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. Blink added 14 into the database, a little bit scattered there. Um, records, and I'll get to that in a second. Pilot Flying J added two, Tesla added 12, including the missing one in Charlotte, North Carolina that was mentioned last week that opened close to my house. Electrify America added one. It should be noted I had some back and forth with Chase Drum from the Grid Connections podcast concerning missing stations, and <clears throat> it caused me to delve deeper into the whole <coughs> Electrify America situation, and I've actually uncovered a problem in how I was pulling the data, and I'll get to that in a second. All the missing Electrify American stations have now been found. Uh, they were in the database. There was a problem with the way it was querying. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, ChargePoint added 25 stations. If you go added two, it should be noted that their station count actually decreased. If you connect added 12, the Rivian Adventure Network added one. And it should be also noted that I've been looking at all these for any indication of IANA, and so far I have not seen any. Let's go ahead and get to the data. Here's Blink. Uh, one of the ones that's important to me is Elizabeth City, North Carolina. This is near the Outer Banks. It's not actually in the Outer Banks, but it's on the way. And uh, I've had my eye on this one, and it's actually open, so that's really good news for the people out there, and I might go visit it. And it's just a one-stall station, but it's in an important location that's underserved. So Some of these other ones, as you can see, opened up just recently, so likely those are fresh. Um, some of these other ones are like 2023, so those are likely um, just people making them uh, publicly accessible or something. Uh, that's the way it works in Blink. Pilot Flying J added two, one in Weed, California, and one in Brooklyn, Iowa. And the Brooklyn is also known as Victor, Iowa, on Interstate 80. Tesla, and here's the missing one near my house. Um, really nice location. It's all new construction, new Starbucks, new parking lot where the Tesla Supercharger is, 12 stalls. Uh, this Lowe's Home Improvement in Charlotte, 16 stalls. Brandon Flash did a site visit video. He actually did a tour of the new Tesla Superchargers in Charlotte, both of the Starbucks and the Lowe's. Uh, really good video. Go check that out. Um, and let's see, another 16 in Anaheim, California at a place called Shopping Center. <laughs> Manchester, Connecticut, also at another place called Shopping Center. <laughs> anyway, Charge Point. Uh, one of note is um, the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers in Boston, Massachusetts, two stalls. GPM Investments, two stalls in Brighton, Michigan. So they're still continuing their nationwide installation of DC fast chargers. Grand Rapids, Mich Michigan, this one's kind of cool. They put it in kind of like an island configuration, kind of like what you would see at a gas station. And it's six stalls, and Grand Rapids is pretty underserved, so good news there. Okay, so for Electrify America, what happened is I had a filter on my queries in order, in order to only look at like the last 10,000 records. And what apparently Electrify America was doing is they were putting records in the database as placeholders that were having this, shoot, let me go forward, that was having this field, the ID field, created, but they didn't do anything with entering the data, so I wasn't actually catching it. And the problem is these ID fields, as you look, 77,000, that was further back from what I was looking at. So. I said, just give me the last 10,000 records, and then I threw my query at that because I was just looking for new stuff. The problem was the Electrify America records were entered, but they didn't have any information in them. They were just kind of like placeholder records. So it wasn't until they actually started to open the stations that they would go back into the database, enter the information, and it was able to be queried. But by that time, it had aged out of my window of where I was searching. So I apologize for the oversight, but these are all the ones. I went back as far as I could, which was July of this year, and they've been opening stations. I apologize for missing these, and I will be catching them going forward. And uh, so these are all the Electrify America stations that have opened since uh, July. Uh, plenty of new stations, and 
Um, lots of big ones. Here's a 20 stall one in San Diego, 10 stall one in Sacramento at a Costco. I think this is the one that Eric from the New School channel visited. A uh, Another Costco in Loomis, California, 14 stalls. It might have been this one. I'm not quite sure. Um, but anyway, we will catch these going forward. And again, I apologize for the oversight. They also opened a new one this past week in Sandy Springs, Georgia, on the northern end of the Atlanta metropolitan area. Six stalls. I think it's at a Publix grocery store. If you go it added two, Albuquerque, New Mexico, six stalls, San Mateo, California, eight stalls. If you connect, we got a Nevi site in Honolulu, Hawaii, which just got entered into the database. I think this one has been open for a while. I'm not quite sure why it wasn't in the database, unless this is a second site. I'm not sure. It says site number one. Um, and um, some Cadillac dealerships. Let's see, there is one Cadillac dealership in Wilmington, North Carolina that is important for me because this is where my brother-in-law lives and also my son goes to school at the University of North Carolina, Wilmington, so I frequent this area with some regularity. Rivian added uh, one station, six stalls in Dallas, Texas. They're starting to show up with more regularity now into the alternative fuels data center database with about one station per week. So that's encouraging to see. BP Pauls added four stations. And if they keep this uh, pace up, I'm going to add them to the regular updates because they're starting to get pretty active. We've got a uh, Thornton's in Louisville, Kentucky, four stalls, Lacey, Washington with six stalls, um, Petersburg, Virginia with four stalls, and Long Beach, California with two stalls. Thanks for watching.